driving my husband's car this week uh, because he's working on fixing the timing chain in my car and it's still not working yet. So um, for the couple weeks between when he's busy and can't work on it, um, I'm driving his car. Stick shift, which is fun for a change. So I don't always talk a lot about my Catholic faith or the fact that I'm Catholic or any of that. I know I've mentioned it before. Um, and you are perfectly free to not watch any particular video you don't feel like watching, but I thought that I would spend today talking about a thing about the Catholic faith. Um, so there's, you know, people who have questions and maybe you don't have anybody you can ask them to that you know in real life. And so here we are. I'm talking about Holy Days of Obligation today. Um, tomorrow, December 8th, is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, which, common misconception, this is not uh, when Jesus was conceived, but actually when Mary was conceived, she was set aside from that moment uh, to be the mother of God, and so she was spared from original sin, and so that's what the Immaculate Conception means. Um, Mary's birthday is in September, which is nine months from tomorrow. Um, so that's what that is. A Holy Day of Obligation is a day that you have to go to Mass. Um, there's only a few things that the Church requires of you. They're called the precepts of the Church. And one of those things is that you have to go to Mass on Sundays and Holy Days. So even if you're on vacation, you know, even if you have work or whatever, you got to find a way to get to Mass on a Sunday. And then there's a few days throughout the year that are special feasts, which is why they're called Holy Days. And the obligation means that you're obliged to go to Mass on those days, as well as on a Sunday. So there's a few of those days that... Um, could actually be moved to like the following or the previous Sunday if they're close to a Sunday. At the discretion of the local bishop, they can just kind of combine it with the Sunday so that you don't have to do anything extra. There's a few of those days that you can't do that with. Um, and so like Christmas is one of those. Even if Christmas falls on a Saturday or a Monday, you still got to go to Mass on Christmas and on Sunday. Um, and you just, you can't move when Christmas happens. Like you can't have Christmas observed on the 23rd. Like that doesn't make any sense. Um, there's a few that are that way, but I'm not sure if the Immaculate Conception can be moved or not. But all I know is that in this diocese this year, it's not moved. Um, and so it falls on a Saturday. So you got to go to Mass on the Immaculate Conception and on Sunday. It's because we're celebrating. It's a good thing. Um, and so this particular year, we happen to be a little bit busy on Saturday. Um, so one thing that's handy, because, you know, we're accommodating. God wants you to get to Mass on time. So this is a holdover from, like, the Jewish tradition of the church, that you can have a vigil Mass, which basically means any Mass after 4 p.m. the night before counts as Mass for that day. So uh, you can go to Mass on any given Sunday. If you're busy on Sunday morning, you can go to Mass on, uh, on Saturday evening instead. And that just fulfills your Sunday obligation. Um, so they have those for Holy Days as well, and so we're going to Mass tonight at 7, and that counts as Mass tomorrow um, for the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. So that is basically what I wanted to explain to you today. If you have questions about the church um, or about the faith or anything, like I love talking about Catholicism. I can do it all day, so I would love to answer those questions for you, and even if I don't know the answer, I'll learn something. So you can comment those below if you're interested, because I think I'm going to be doing a few more of these. You know, I have to fill my whole vlogmas. I know I wanted to do at least one video explaining about Advent, um, and so you can look forward to that one. And tomorrow's video will either be a travel vlog, because like I mentioned, we're, we're traveling tomorrow, or Saturday, yes, tomorrow morning. Um, either it'll be a travel vlog or something uh, pre-filmed in my planner. So look forward to that. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.